This is Larry Shover from the CME Group in Chicago with September 7th bond commentary. Ten-year futures finally out of their slumber. They plummet today. Yields up between five and seven basis points uh, across the curve. Ten-year yields right now between 293 and 294. Uh, we had a obviously a BLS report today, a very strong wage number. Um, a lot of people thinking that we're going to have inflation coming down really soon, deserving higher yields here. Looking deeper into the wage number on a year-on-year -year basis, it definitely did impress. But looking at a three-month annualized basis, uh, that number really rose from 297 to 306, and that's where we were in March. We didn't see any, uh, any measures of inflation in the first quarter, so I'm skeptical whether we'll see it now just based on one number that we saw today. However, next week will be absolutely huge for the Treasury futures as we see some inflationary data points coming out specifically retail sales, CPI, and also um, some beige book numbers coming out. Very important data. Right now, uh, futures are adjacent to 21-day, 40-day, and even 74-day moving averages uh, between the yields of 2-spot 868 and 2-spot 895. Given we've traded through all those numbers this week, they're basically rendered meaningless at this point. Um, momentum indicators also given cross current, um, no indications there, uh, absolutely no direction in the market. So we do have a big auction next week, um, and that should be interesting offset uh, with the retail sales and CPI. I'm Larry Schober from the CME Group in Chicago with September the 7th bond commentary.